Welcome back into Football Friday Night. This year, for the first time in 58 years, we watched the Fayetteville Purple Dogs win a conference title this season. But their eyes, well, they've been set on a lot more than that. That's right. After a comeback win last Friday over Cabot, tonight Fayetteville had a chance to clinch its first state title appearance since 2016 when the Purple Dogs welcomed Conway to Harmon Field. It was simple for Conway and for Fayetteville. Win, and they'd be headed to Little Rock for a chance at that state title. First quarter, after a long pass play to Jalen Blackburn, set the Purple Dogs up in the red zone. Bladen Fike goes back to number two. Over the middle, it's a touchdown catch for Blackburn. It's seven to nothing, Fayetteville. Later in the first quarter, Fike dumps it off to the leading receiver in the state of Arkansas, Isaiah Satenia, and he's taking this all the way down to around the Fayetteville five yard line, setting up the Purple Dogs in a great situation. Two plays later, Fike, he's gonna go back to Satenia. Fike. Takes a snap, looking back in the corner, and Satania says, you just got mossed. An absolutely ridiculous grab from the future hog, pinning it against the DB's helmet. You're not gonna see a play better than that one anywhere tonight. Purple Dogs, they go up 13 to nothing. Second quarter, Bulldogs make it a three score lead. Fike hands it off to Caden Turner, and the Indiana commit plows his way into the end zone. Fayetteville builds a 20 to nothing lead over Conway. The Wampus Cats came all the way back to lead 21-20. Then the Bulldogs just won on a game-winning field goal from Graham Woody with four seconds left. They tacked on a late pick six. The Purple Dogs, in dramatic fashion, 29-21. They're headed to War Memorial. Wow. Well, it's hard to beat that one. We're going to try. Next up, Boonville playing host to Glen Rose, tied at 14 until Randon Ray. He's going to run it in. Bearcats up a score, and they were off to the races, and I mean that. Next drive, Boonville with the ball on their own one-yard line, and Ray, well, look at him go. Yeah, we're going to watch. He wow. goes and goes and goes. Jonathan, how long? 99 yards. 99 yards. You can't go much further than that. Nah. You can only go one yard further than that. <laughs> Touchdown, Boonville up 28 to 14 in third quarter. We've shown you two already. How about one more from Randon Ray? Punches it in, third rushing touchdown of the night. Boonville, they're gonna win this one big. They're headed to the conference semifinals. They knock off Glen Rose, 49 to 21. Greenwood, they're looking to get back to Little Rock. They would have to take down Little Rock Parkview in order to do it. The Bulldogs started off this game down 14 to nothing, but then they turned it up. Hunter Houston throwing it to Aiden Kennan here, and he picks up a big time first down to get the Bulldogs offense going. Later in the drive, here it's Houston throwing it to Javon Williamson, and he's gonna get brought down just short of the end zone. That's all right, Greenwood would score on the very next play to cut this to a one score game. Parkview up two scores again until Houston going to the air and finds his guy Bryce Caldwell. That's a touchdown. Bulldogs cut it to a 21 to 13 game. And the Bulldogs, well, they were rolling from there. Javon Williamson here. He runs it in for a Bulldogs touchdown, and they climb to within 1.21 to 20. The Bulldogs defense, how about we see them step up? Parkview here intercepted by Landon Nelms, a huge play for the Bulldogs defense, and he sets up his offense with great field position after the turnover. They go on to take advantage. Here, it's another touchdown pass from Houston. This one to Aiden Kennan. Bulldogs take their first lead of the game, 27-21. Kennan wasn't done, though. For a second time in the game, it's Houston finding Kennan, who breaks a tackle, and then he runs it in. Greenwood wins it 45-35, and they're headed to play for a state championship next Saturday. So, so far, we've had Boonville, Shiloh, Fayetteville. I heard three for three. Yeah, it's a huge week for all of our local teams. Sounds good to me. And when we return, a rematch of the 2020 4A state championship game tonight with the Shiloh Saints taking on Rivercrest. Plus, Lamar and Poto looking to move on as well. Stick with us here on Football Friday Night. Welcome back into Football Friday Night. If you remember last December, Shiloh's dominant playoff run, well, it ended in the 4A state championship game when the Saints knocked off Rivercrest. And tonight in the 4A semifinals, it was that same Rivercrest team looking to end the Saints' stream of back-to-back -back state titles. Funny how things work out. And the Colts, well, they had a 15-game home winning streak. So big going tonight for the Saints, looking to continue that postseason run. First quarter, first drive for the Saints. Braden Brownlee hurries the quarterback tipped around and Marcus Slayton comes down with the pick. But Rivercrest's offense couldn't get much started against the Saints. Swing pass to Kobe Turner, swallowed up by Caden Henley. 
Then halfway through the first, Eli Wisdom has time, splits the defense, what a throw. finds Cooper Hutchinson. That's a 24-yard score, seven to nothing. Good guys. Saints would still put points on the board. Bo Williams gets the rock, and Bo Williams finds his way to the end zone. A 15-yard run, Shiloh up 14-0. And next drive, the home run ball from Rivercrest would be picked off by Ben Baker. Shiloh, it's a playoff game, so you know they roll. 41-7 yeah. is your final. So let's look at some scores tonight. Unfortunately, we had two losses. Robinson knocking off Lamar, 49-14, and Poto, such a good year for the Pirates, but they fell tonight. way that it comes to end. Sometimes these playoff games, it's bounce of a ball that can go one way or another. A tough one-score loss, but doesn't take away from the great season that Poto had. Absolutely, and we have four teams left. You saw them, all the highlights. We had good wins from around. It's going to take us uh, to Little Rock next week for a couple state championship That's games. Right. Fayetteville and Greenwood in the state title games next Saturday in Little Rock. Uh, I think Greenwood at 12, and then Fayetteville later in the day at 6.30. Sounds good to us. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching Football Friday Night.